Yeah, welcome back guys. Uh, today we shall be learning how to manipulate a product or uh, seven up product on our Android smartphone using our PC lab. So without wasting much of our time, let's get started. So the first thing is to determine the size. So I want to use one to use zero by one to use zero as usual, which is a square size. So after that, I will determine the kind of a background I want to use. So I want to use a gradient anyway, so you can just uh when you tap the color, so you go to the gradient, then you tap on the gradient like this, tap on the color picker or color bucket, then you click on the picker if you have a color you want to pick. But for instance, I'm going to pick around all these colors. So once I pick that, I will the middle one, I will stretch it towards the end. After that, I will tap OK, then click on the second color bucket, and uh, I will just uh, pick around this uh, color spectrum then pick up my choice then uh, i will make sure that uh, this one is somehow outer and uh, just uh, making it look exactly like this so this should be just more darker why this should be a little bit lighter and i will just uh, position it like that okay perfect so now that we are able to do that then the next nice thing to do let's see do a kind of a manipulation okay after that you see there is a kind of a light at the middle then i will click on empty area what i did is click on the sticker then i will have something like this so once you have something like this you need to tap on empty area then go to the relative position to position to the center then go to the opacity reduce the opacity to something like 50 enable the effect shadow then you go to layer and lock it now you have this result so you can head in directly to your gallery and bring all the images one after the other so take you for instance i want to so let's say we have this so i want to bring those images one after the other okay perfect so the first thing i need to do is to select them one after the other so i will first of all select this position is sorry position it to the center using the relative position have it lock then i'm going to continue i'm going to be selecting them one after the other like that so bringing this one in as well using your relative position then we still add uh go back to gallery then bringing this one in so we are going to excuse we are going to visit in the place as well so position this so everything you might be looking at that is a rhyme i've already drew a kind of a research before that okay i've done that so the next thing I'm going to do now is to bring this one in, uh, which will be here. Then I will add him back to my gallery. Then bring the next one, which they can. So I will just position that one. Okay, yeah. Then we need to just look at it critically and rearrange. So I will go and bring the second to the last okay which is this so position that here so when we position this it should go to the back so after that it will remain one in which we are going to do so take it for instance the, this should come up okay it has to come up like that we will have this result so another thing is um we have this image this what about if we actually bring this we'll bring this one up let's see if it doesn't work we can just bring it down as well so we have that result we have this and this one is actually cool okay okay perfect so the next thing we're going to do is to shift it down a little bit okay we are going to shift it down a little bit so we are shifting this down a little bit 
to another kind much so after we're able to do that not taking much time so we are going to bring the splash particle which we are going to position on top of everything so we go to relative position and i have this one position down so which we can see so but before that we can just go to opacity reduce the opacity for this which will make it accurate to 50 then we are going to hide it so what we are going to do next is to just alight or mesh the whole stuff mesh everything so when you mesh okay excluding excluding the uh, uh the splash so we're going to match everything so after you match bring it like this but we need to look at it critically so we wait if it doesn't work we can just back but when you experience something like that that pc lab is trying to close you can quickly go to saving mode while you are having mode save wait so you save your work so when you save it and you see display the same thing again you can close okay so now you can go back so what happened at that particular period is uh we are trying to why we quickly save is because we might eventually lose everything and we might not like that to happen okay so now that we have this i guess it uh save the work for us so to the uh, uh to the last edge so now we can just merge everything together and see how it work. Let's merge it. So which means something is uh, going on. So we have this. So what I want to do is that I want to have a reflection. So I will copy this. Sorry. I will back. Copy. Back. It's okay. Okay, 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 okay. There is a mistake here. Why? Because we suppose not to merge like this. This should be coming down. We suppose not to merge this because it's a kind of a light stuff which we place at the background. So merging it will make it to be multiplied and make the middle to be more uh, illuminate, uh, illuminate and it will be okay okay so now that we are able to do that then the next thing we are going to do is to copy so once you copy that back again then we have this result we copy so once we copy that you can go to the 3d rotate and uh, we rotate it like this so where we are going to have the result to this okay so this one should just the mouse should just close just as perfect as this okay or better still what, what 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 we can do is to just uh sending this to the back so after you send that succeeded in sending it to the back so you can see so we can just go to opacity reduce the opacity very well so something to 10 then enable the affected shadow then you look at it it can be mesh and we reduce it but you look at it very well you see that it's very obvious so you go to obesity increase the obesity to something like 12 okay so after that we are going to remesh everything again so we are going to make this and make this together so after we merge it then we can now reduce the size let's say so after we merge that we reduce the size so when we reduce the size we reposition it here. but that is not going to work okay now we have the whole results and i guess that is cool so we can position this here or we use our relative position so the relative position should work okay so rotate this as well 200 then you reposition to the center so now we have the whole result and everything is plumb as we can see so the next thing is uh, we bring this one out the way we want it so the cut something like a splash brush of it in. then you can see everything seems to be cool perfect okay perfect so we can reduce this a little bit and we are good to go with everything so something like uh, 40 40 so perfect and we are able to achieve this thing for watching so this is just a kind of a 
simple tricks manipulation which we can just achieve on our pc lab thanks for watching guys i think we can just play around this and adding more to our skills thanks for watching